Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm hoping you guys are all having a fantastic day. So today's upload is going to be a video on Will Far Fall Arrive Early This Year 2019. <clears throat> so the standard of, you know, fall arriving early, I don't have any set <clears throat> guidelines as to what qualifies as an early fall. But, I mean, if I were to roughly outline it, roughly give you a perspective. Basically, um, if you know, if you start seeing uh, your fall temperatures, if you know, whether you start seeing them sooner or later, not really frost or the first snow, because I associate that more with winter time. Fall, you know, <clears throat> maybe like the fall foliage change, and I'll show you. Um, I, th I don't have a graphic at the end, but I'll explain what I uh, what I think will happen at the end. <clears throat> and if you want a best understanding of that, you know, you gotta watch the, most of the video. So, uh, yeah, consider subscribing, consider liking the video. Uh, it's, it's free, and uh, I really would appreciate it, so... Uh, consider doing so. So this is basically what I wanted to show you first. This is actually from the current <clears throat> model run and it, this is I think maybe five or six days out and it shows a, as you could see by these blue temp blue colors this marks below average temperatures and you could see for a good chunk of the country excluding the west especially the northwest and parts of the east coast but it would get there <clears throat> if I were to put this into motion but you know I'm not on uh, the website right now tropical tidbits <clears throat> which uh, which uh, this image is courtesy of and uh, I just wanted to show you this because this has been a recurring pattern throughout much of <clears throat> later August and now into September we get these we get a little bit of a break maybe some warmer temperatures uh, up you know towards the northern part of the country but then we get this cool blast of air that which just comes down from the oh, sorry about that which just comes down from the north and it brings some chilly temperatures uh, and that's you know I think we could continue seeing that especially since uh, if we were to look at the teleconnections which I don't have in this video but if we were to look at them or you know I looked at them a couple days ago they, they're not they're showing um, some steady signs of cooler air coming in so that further uh, further increases the risk or the chances I should rather say of seeing an early fall for the eastern eastern half of the country really excluding the parts of the uh, northwest and southwest and this is really what a neutral pattern looks like and speaking of a neutral um, that is uh, part to do with Enzo and you can see that Ian as Sorry about that ENSO outlook the Enzo neutral is most likely to continue through the northern hemisphere winter 2019 2020 <clears throat> so what does this mean <clears throat> well uh, you know, they say through winter, but it's already in place, and you can see this was updated the 8th of August, so the most frequent or the most uh, latest up-to-date um, picture I could find. <clears throat> and uh, this is actually showing that Enzo Neutral is already in place, as marked by this thing, and it will continue through at least fall. So that's what we need to know. I mean, this video is about who will see an early fall, so we're looking at that September, which is now, <clears throat> through about that late October region through November. <clears throat> Since then, we, that, what, you know, that is when usually you know, fall comes. And you could feel it. And we were just looking at, at, you know, whether it will be a little bit early this year or not. And this is what a typical Enzo neutral winter pattern looks like. The key is it's winter. But um, for the fall, it looks very similar. <clears throat> I'll show you what the fall one looks in just a minute. But I just want you to take a, you know, a good look at this. You can see the cold air dropping down into much of the country. Warmer across the west and the south. And if we were to look at this graphic, that's kind of what we're seeing. <clears throat> Except that one that I showed you is a little bit further south and... Uh, are a little bit more powerful. Uh, the one that we're having on right now, or the one that will happen right after this hurricane, uh, Hurricane Dorian passes to the, you know, off the east coast, then we will see something more like this, and this will, this is very representative of what uh, neutral patterns look like during the fall, and you know, usually if this was something to do with a November forecast, like, <clears throat> who will see the coldest November, I would just use this graphic, because then it's just the same, I mean, a neutral winter pattern impacts uh, fall, um, in winter, <clears throat> You know, it encompasses winter. This is what the winter one is, is, but it also includes November because November usually does not is not characterized as a really a fall month in terms of snowfall. <clears throat> and uh, I mean, it is officially, but in terms of patterns and graphics like that, it could be characterized under that winter pattern. But this is what a fall one looks like. You can see August through November. <clears throat> and you may be wondering what are all these years. Well, you probably guessed it by now. Uh, if you were wondering in the first place that these are all neutral years or neutral winters that had also neutral falls which we are in right now and that is a big key indicator of what's to come and you can see that uh, there's actually quite a bit again of that chill across the east and north 
<clears throat> the eastern half of the country, the west a little bit warmer. Um, they have, I would, you know, if I were to draw this out for this year in specific, <clears throat> I would draw out uh, the warm air or the chilly air somewhere along uh, here. And maybe, you know, the east coast, we'll see about whether it'll be really that cold. It seems like they will be, but it's still a little bit of questionable. And it seems as if the warm air will be the warmest in this region right here. I'm pretty confident about that. This region in between here, you know, could uh, could go either way. If it's a really strong cold blast, it could move, you know, a couple hundred miles <clears throat> easily. But if it's a stronger ridge, you could see it could move, you know, easily into Nebraska possibly. But it seems like the Midwest, the uh, plains, and uh, parts of <clears throat> the northern south will see the coldest temperatures this year. And uh, you can, so this is, you know, what a fall pattern looks like for neutral. Let's take this month by month. <clears throat> Most years of August uh, that were neutral look like this. And if we were to to look at the month of August this year, it looks actually um, not you know not exactly the same, but it looks pretty similar. <clears throat> we saw warmer, uh, cooler temperatures across the central part of the country, and a little bit cooler across the south and southwest and west <clears throat> and northwest. So that you know that is very similar, and th that leads us to think that again the northern part of the country will be a little bit um, <clears throat> cooler, so they will see fall a little bit sooner. If we were to look at September now, which is the month we are in, this is September 3rd, hard to believe that it passed so quickly, August. <clears throat> but you can see that, again, the kind of the reoccurring pattern of the eastern and northern U.S. being chilly, while the west will being a little bit warmer. <clears throat> so this would, uh, again, quicken the results of fall, or quicken the impacts of fall into several weeks ahead of schedule for most, I would say, for in the east coast and the south even okay, and in, if i were to you know ask many people right now they've been already seeing their fall temperatures and they would already say in a comment section that i've been hearing people saying that you know fall is already here basically like, you know many of my plants are already showing signs of turning leaves and turning colors and ripening fruit and um, it, the chill is in the air, and yes, that has been the case. August has been rather chilly. Now, you know, September also looks not, you know, rather chilly. I made a video on that, but there will be some breaks of warmer temperatures. But uh, overall, I think that the fall should come early for the northern and eastern portions of the country, just the eastern half, dividing <clears throat> basically anywhere east of the Rockies. I think you'll have a pretty good chance of seeing a early fall. Uh, anywhere west, you may be you know normal or even delayed. I would say rather delayed. Than normal so that is something to keep in mind <clears throat> so uh this is october 1950 and this is again the same years with the neutral pattern just how in october you can see october was the warmest out of all of them in terms of the u.s for the whole uh, as a whole country you can see there was a big warming <clears throat> ridge in the west and this expanded through a good portion of the west and expanded into eastern a uh, third <clears throat> of the country and then uh, the cool lets up in the east but then you can see november is very chilly look at that that is almost no warmth not not much at all and then cool, pretty chilly pretty darn chilly across <clears throat> across the eastern u.s you can see uh, the pur purples and the pinks and you look at that right there that is uh, that is you know what's to come possibly during the winter if i were to keep showing this graphic but i don't think i have an image there. Yeah, this was just a precip now. Um, you can see, I wanted to see if, you know, there would be correlation on this between the precip, uh, you know, the snow and <clears throat> a snowy fall and a po possibly, uh, you know, a snowy or an early fall and a snowy fall, but there is really no correlation. As you can see, November is pretty below average in precip according to this, but we, we, I mean, again, even if it's cold, we, we, you don't need a lot of precip. You could still <clears throat> see uh, above average snow as Again, that snow to liquid ratio is very high or, um, you know, high depending, it doesn't even depend on what the, what the temperature is, it's just usually high, it's at least usually a 10 to 1, rare cases it's like a 5 to 1, uh, 5 inches of snow to 1 inch of rain, which, you know, usually if there's like an inch of rain during the winter over a certain area, that's considered a big snowstorm, that could be 10 to 20 inches of snow. So, uh, I think that's it for the, uh, the, my slide presentation, so I just wanted to, you know, give you a background and if you're looking for a definite answer if i were to draw out a graphic which i did not have time to do <clears throat> i would uh, draw this part of the country as being uh having an early fall and i would include the northeast <clears throat> as well but um you know i would have less confidence in the northeast than i have in the midwest or the upper plains or the south central plains or the uh or you know, south central u.s I think the Northeast should have at least a couple of days of uh, the, that chill or even a couple of weeks that will make it feel like an early fall. And then the West, I would say uh, this region, 
would you know will probably have a later than typical fall in this area so that's my final uh, you know forecast slash guess if you want to call it I mean it, it is a guess after all our, all forecasts are technically educated guests guesses so uh, yeah again thank you so much for watching guys this really means a lot I really appreciate it thank you so much and I will all catch you guys on the next episode so see ya